What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to teach you how to use semaphores but in this case with Python. First of all, you have to know that in Python you cannot create other processes. Like you cannot use for example the function fork to create another process. At least as far as I know. I don't think uh, or I don't know if you can use something like that to create a new process. Like I think that in Python you cannot create new processes, but you can create several threads as we are doing here. And with threads, you can use semaphores. Like always with Python, it's too simple to use semaphores here. So what you have to do is to import the threading library. And here in the threading library, you will have a, a constructor to create a semaphore object and you just have to put here the initial value of the of the semaphore. So for example here we are initializing two semaphores with value zero and then here you create two threads and well what I'm doing is that I'm creating two threads and one executes this function and the other one executes this other function. But it's as simple as that because also you have to know that as we are using threads we are able to access global variables. So that's why here we are using this as a global variable. But then here in the function one, what we do is that the function one prints one and three and the function two prints two and four. So the thread one prints this and the thread two prints that. So in order to do this uh, in order, like we want this to be in order, we have to use the semaphores. And how do we use the semaphores? So this would be the same weight, like the same weight of C. This is the same uh, weight which moves the value down of the semaphore. So if you don't know, if you have a semaphore and the value is zero and you try to move it down, the process or the thread that tries to move down that value will get blocked. And when the other process releases or moves up that value, the thread that was blocked is going to be unblocked. So that's what we are doing here. Basically what we're doing, doing is that, yeah, the thread one prints this and the thread two comes here and gets blocked here. But when the thread one uh, finish printing this, it uses this function release and moves up the value of the semaphore. So then the thread that is blocked here is going to be unblocked. It will print a two, but the thing is that this one, after releasing the value, it uh, acquires the value, so it gets blocked with the semaphore two because it's zero and it tries to move down that to move down that value, and yeah, then we release it, and basically we are doing this in order. So if we check this with the terminal, you are going to see that it works perfectly. So as you can see, you can check my C video like uh, semaphores with C and you are, going, you are going to see that it's a little bit more complex. But here it's truly very easy. You just have to know that this would be the same down to put down the value and this would be the same up to put up the value. Then here you just initialize it and that's it. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you understood how to use semaphores in Python and if so, give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one.